Hey there everyone, That Sexy Nerd is back again, and I'm kind of wearing the right shirt for this because there's a character named Joker on there. Woohoo! I'm, I am so smart. I am so smart. S-M-R-T. I mean S-M-A-R-T. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, I know nothing about these characters. I know, I get out so much. Um... I've never pre played Persona before. I, I've always dabbled, but if your name's not Final Fantasy VII, I, I mean, sorry, if your name's not Final Fantasy, I'm not really interested. Or, you know, if you the only way I would play another RPG like that would be if they made another Golden Sun on a, on a console and it was good, you know, good. I like that one that they tried with. I don't know why the hell it's so hard to make a Golden Sun game. A good Golden Sun game that made two earlier in the... Uh, Y'all remember that, those games, Golden Sun? Like, those games were so good. They made, they made no sense whatsoever. But they were good. They were, they were good games. <laughs> oh, and... Uh, or if your name's not Chrono Trigger or... Uh, Secret of Mana. I've never played either. Oh, I played Chrono Trigger. I played Chrono Trigger, at least. Because, you know, I mean... Akira Toriyama's designs. I mean, come on. Or was it Akira Toriyama's designs, or was it the guy who made the Dragon Ball GT? Because I heard Akira Toriyama did not have creative control over that. I don't remember. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh, I don't know what to expect from either of these two. Maybe I'll find somebody to root for, but I have no stakes in this. So uh, I, it's not even like Gojo, where um, well, what's that game? I mean, what's that? Jujutsu Kaisen, where I've at least heard about Jujutsu Kaisen, and I already liked Gojo from the beginning. So there, there was no, there was, there, there's no, literally no stakes. So uh, let's see how this ends. And if, if hey, if they call up a, yeah, pull up a good fight, then hey, more power to them. I, again, I've never seen Jojo's this bizarre adventure. I'm sorry, I, I, I've heard things. I gotta watch see the champs uh, Dio episode. By the way, I might, I might just do that after this. It is a compilation to this. Maybe I'll do that. So, uh, but I'll be, that being said, please smash that like button if you want to see more sexy and nerdy content and subscribe. I think I deserve it. And remember, sign up for my Patreon to see all my latest reactions to all my latest videos. And let's do this thing, y'all. Joker versus Giorno. The fans Giorno. of Giorno and JoJo's Golden Gangstar. <laughs> okay. Gangstar? Gangs? What? And also, already, what is with this guy's freaking outfit? Did, did you want to be even sluttier than Trunks with your midriff be hanging out there? Don't let, don't think I noticed s s uh, Trump being a slut. You know, I mean, come on, why do you think his mother hit on him? <laughs> that was so weird, his mother hit on him, not knowing who she was. Who he was. <laughs> I'm like, come on, he has purple hair. Doesn't it raise an eyebrow at least? He wears an eye boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Ren Amamiya wasn't prepared for this to happen. When he witnessed an innocent woman being harassed and stepped in, he had no idea her assailant was one of Japan's most prominent politicians. Oh, Poor really? Ren was forced to leave town, lose friends, and transfer to Shujin Academy. There's definitely more fun ways to ruin your life. Likes older women, cats, and hamburgers. That guy has his priorities straight. <laughs> I mean, come on, it's literally older women, cats, and then hamburgers. Like, um, all those things should really not go together. <laughs> but his run-ins with corrupt authority figures was only just beginning. Mm. One might call it a theme. And it wouldn't just be dealing with your garden variety scumbag gym teachers. Ren and his new friends found themselves in a whole new world. The Metaverse! Oh, oh no! Yeah, yeah. That one. Derived from the works of Carl Jung, this collective Damn. unconscious is like an alternate reality formed from the amalgamated thoughts and feelings of mankind. What humans believe, or even what they fear, directly shapes it. And inside this crazy mental realm, those who have been corrupted by power and abused the weak have become evil superpowers, just like how they're viewed by many of their victims in the real world. What? Victims like Ren and his friends, Ryuji, An, Makoto, Pancakes, and 
The animal! They may have been helpless the against animal. crushing institutional might in the real world, but in the metaverse, they had a way to fight back. Personas! Persona? As part of the summoner's inner self, personas can become incredibly powerful spirits. By using their personas to battle their foes in the metaverse and steal their hearts, the source of their moral corruption, Ren and company could cause such foes to repent in the real world. So is is this is this gonna get me to want to play these games? That music is awesome in the background. Is that from the sh from the game? That music is awesome. I'm like, mm. I heard there was like a jazzy kind of soundtrack to these to these games. So uh, yeah, and I heard the music was was on point. So the friends formed a band called the Phantom Thieves with Ren as their leader, codenamed. Joker. And Joker's oh. first persona was the awesome Arsene. With razor sharp like claws the and the ability to curse and- it, it, it looks- it looks like he's straight out of, uh, what is that show? Has Been Hotel. He looks like a reject from Has Been Hotel. First persona was the awesome Arsene. With razor sharp claws and the ability to curse enemies with dark energy, Arsene was hmm. an excellent persona to start with. But Joker's a wild card. Literally, he can capture as many personas as he wants. He's gotta catch them all, cause they each have their own crazy oh, powers. So the Shooting fire, ice, and lightning, to dishing out status effects, healing, and resistances, to lobbing actual nukes at the baddies. So Joker can what? fight with manifestations of deities like Beelzebub, Odin, and Jesus Christ. What the? Wow, he looks way different than in the paintings I've seen. Oh, hey, did you know that a persona is connected to their user's own stamina? Wait, what is that? Why, why is it a... Jesus Christ. Wow, he looks... He's like Beelzebub, Odin, and... Jesus Christ! That's wow. Jesus Christ? It's way different than in the paintings I've seen. Oh, hey, did you know that a persona is connected to their user's own stamina? Whoa. So when a persona is shattered, even though it's not, like, dead dead, it does rattle the user pretty badly. Well, without his personas, Joker can still rely on his guns, grappling hooks, smoke bombs, etc. Might not sound like much compared to summoning actual Satan, but in the metaverse, perception is reality. No, really, it actually works like that. In what? the real world? Joker's gun is only a prop. However, with Joker's reputation in the metaverse, uh, this prop becomes a real. god killer. As the Phantom Thieves' reputation god increased, killer? so did their power, simply because that's how they were perceived. Kinda like how Personas are empowered by the social links Joker possesses with his friends. Ooh. Yes, in the world of Persona, hanging out with your buds makes you stronger. Anime! Game! Wish. After Max, social links can bring a wildcard user back from the brink of death, instilling them with willpower greater than the rest of humanity combined. I guess meticulously gardening your friends like a sociopath has its benefits. What? Hey, Wiz, have a sociopath. gold one on me. Uh, thanks. Oh, that's it? Ah, looks like our relationship meter's maxed out. Oh, yeah. Well, guess there's no point to us hanging out anymore. Later, Goodbye. Teacher, I'm gonna go do untested pharmaceuticals and date my teacher. Oh. Wait, date your what? Ahem. <clears throat> Over the... Over the course of his adventures leading the Phantom Thieves, Joker's bonds made him as powerful as the gods he commands. Oh, I thought you were gonna can dodge go Lucifer's more into that. Morning Star, which summons an energy beam that travels several light years in seconds, millions of times faster than light. Or survive a cheeseburger that exploded what? big enough to eclipse a nebula. Talk about having stomach problems. No wonder Joker can face off against opponents that can reshape all of reality. Like Maruki, who used the metaverse to rewrite all of reality to fit his desires. Or Yaldabaoth, who merged the real world and metaverse together. It was in this battle with Yaldabaoth that Joker upgraded Arsene to create Satanile, the biblical angel of vengeance. With a big ass gun? Perceive this reality, bitch! Its primary attack, Sinful Shell, is imbued with what is known as Almighty Energy, which can buy Pass any defense, even that from the omnipotent orb, which can explicitly rewrite reality. Whoa. Yes, very good. Well, Ben, well, okay. gun whiz. And with a shot heard around the world, Joker and his friends prove that you're never too young to change society for the better, no matter how arduous the forces against you may be. If the man is keeping you down, just call up the Phantom Thieves to put them in their place. They'll never see it coming. 
What about that Let's dating his teacher? As he could remember. Giorno oh. Giovanna always wanted to be a gangster. Oh, oh no. no. It feels good to be a gangster. <laughs> Gone are the days of leaving horse heads in your enemy's bed or squeezing their head in a vice till they pop. Giorno yeah. wanted to mm. be a different kind of gangster. A more progressive, metrosexual kind of mob oh, boss. Oh, no. A gang star. A shy, withdrawn boy on the streets of Naples. Giorno's life changed the day he saved a wounded mobster. In return, he was rewarded with future protection from abuse and isolation. This act of reciprocal Oof. kindness convinced Giorno of the value of the mob as a social organization. If only it was commanded by the right person. Someone like Giorno. All he had to do was take control of the Neapolitan Mafia, Passione, and their army of superpowered assassins. Ambitious? Maybe. But hey, he's the bastard son of the insane vampire Deuce oh, Lord himself, what? Dio Brando. Oh, who no. Who saved Giorno while possessing the body of his arch enemy, Jonathan Joestar. Well, yes, yeah, that's why he looks like Joe. Giorno, both a Brando Ew. and a Jojo. It's the name so weird. Jojo. Get it? Well, he didn't just inherit the name, but also the Joestar blood stand. And power. Giorno possesses a stand, gold experience. Stands are invisible, intangible, oh, punchy ghosts that protect their <laughs> incredible superpowers, <laughs> like stopping time, making fiction into reality, or cooking Italian food. God damn, give me that one. Yeah, and Giorno's gold good. experience <laughs> has perhaps the greatest potential of any stand in the series. With just a touch, it can imbue inanimate objects with golden life energy. Turn what? It into any plant or animal in an instant and back again. Giorno uses this with maximum creativity, like disguising a gun as a banana so you Jeez. accidentally blow your own brains out. A gorilla's wow. worst nightmare. Giorno is they don't like a super genius when it comes to gold experience's abilities. Like transforming bullets into flesh to heal the very wounds they made, or changing a brick into a snake that can detect body heat and find a hidden enemy, or turning his teeth into a special kind of jellyfish that filters out the toxins in the piss he was drinking. I thought I was the only one who did that. Should the object turn against <laughs> like turning a tooth into a fly, it will attempt that is crazy. Not only that, any damage Jorno can you want me to make me want to watch this? Onto the opponent. Jorno can even imbue living things with this same energy. This supercharges the target's confidence, Whoa. causing them to outpace their physical body and leaving what? them totally helpless to counterattack. It might uh, seem like you got ten times oh. faster, but you're actually experiencing time at a way slower rate while your body is stuck in the same position. Imagine a Buddha to the nuts felt for twenty straight seconds. Oh, no. Forget about it. Especially when you're hitting as hard as Gold Experience. According to the Jojo Veller art book written by the mangaka himself, Gold Experience has a speed rating of A, putting him in the same league as stands like Star Platinum oh. and Silver Chariot, which are faster than light. Wow. And although his strength stat is only a C, he can still shatter cars like glass and keep up with A strength stands like Sticky Fingers. Perfect for a merciless stand rush that lasts seven pages long. Daddy wow. Dio must be so proud. With gold experience at his Hunch. side, Giorno joined Passione and rose to challenge its reclusive leader, Diavolo. Wait, 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 wait. Diavolo? You're telling me that Giorno, the son Another? of God, battles the devil, just like Jesus, whose full biblical name is Yeshua or Joshua. Ben Joseph. Joshua Joseph. Jojo! Oh. On, Diavolo's goal was to get his hands on a stand arrow. And when a stand is pierced by That's a stand funny. arrow, it evolves. So, Joe! You can I'm sorry? watch the ads disappear in real time. It's incredibly satisfying. It's actually really cool. Joe got it first and transformed Gold Experience into the most broken thing in anime. Gold Experience Requiem. Requiem, Requiem stands change the rules entirely. It's almost like they elevate your stand beyond the need for combat. Gold Experience Requiem can, in short, negate any action taken against it and return it to a state of zero, what? shifting reality back to square one. Let's say I woke up this morning, got myself a gun, and fired it at Giorno. With Gold Experience Requiem, no matter how accurate I am, the shot will always miss because I never fired my gun. That is a return to zero. And also Ooh. a horrific example of gun safety. This applies wow. <laughs> to every attack made against Requiem, including from Diavolo's stand, King Crimson, which can infamously skip time, erasing the universe for 10 seconds. Really? And Requiem negated that. It undid time being erased, while that time was already seems erased. really bad. There was no time to unerase the erased time, and I... Uh, 
<laughs> That's right, Boomstick. Requiem's ability acts independently of no time sense. itself. Sound crazy? Well, Requiem can counter the stand made in heaven, which can accelerate time across the whole universe into infinity. So that kind of range of Requiem's ability is actually consistent. It also reduces your will- <coughs> 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 power to zero, so you can't even fight back! Even what? your death can be returned to zero. After pummeling Diavolo into pulp, Requiem prevented him from dying, forcing him to relive the experience of being killed over and over in a series of never-ending alternate universes. For eternity. No, nope, thank you. you Darkseid? Pulls you back in. More dark side Second, shit? You hear that piano start playing? Run! And so, Giorno took control of Passione and turned it into the peacekeeping social organization he always dreamed about. What? Why did he have parts of his face removed? Passione and turned it into the peacekeeping social organization he always dreamed about. With its streets free of drugs, Italy's youth could rest easy. Their hopes and dreams could be carried into the future on a golden wind. Vento Areo! Yeah, I have no idea who's gonna win here. I I, I feel like the stand the guy uh, JoJo's guy should win, but I don't know the upper limits of this guy's thing, and I feel like they've been a uh, personas thing, and uh, it depends on how much, how many people like him, I guess. Embedo! Gold experience. Go, are set. Gold experience. Giorno Giovanna, your heart is twisted. It is ours to take. What? Shoki Fantasma, my dreams aren't yours to take. Yeah, I feel like he's gonna win. <laughs> Persona! I feel like characters from JoJo are broken. Oh. Checkmate. No. Oh. That's so cool. Oh, oh, damn! Batman! I'm Batman! Impossible. A second stand. If they're not stands, but alright, whatever. Oh. Ah! This is what I'm talking about. You never took the time to understand my gold experience. Uh -huh. All objects given life by gold experience desire to return home. Oh. I'm telling you. This persona creates life. I've got to nullify that. Jack Frost! Icy! <laughs> Yo, this is so cool! <laughs> oh, what the hell? Jack Frost! I see! I see! Uh oh. This shock of Phantasma is justice. This is Requiem. Tell you. Sounds about right. There's no chance. These guys had no chance. Really? But still, this might work, though. Whoa! Didn't hear me before. Checkmate. Checkmate? Oh my God! Oh, never mind. Wow, I'm an idiot. Damn! Oh. Okay. You gotta be, to, to be fair, I don't know anything about these, but it seemed like the stand had the advantage. I totally forgot about the final form shot thing. That's crazy.
Wow. Do you know never had the makings of a varsity death battle winner? Oh, oh shut up. Fascinating <laughs> matchup and far from an easy call. Joker versus Base Gold experience wasn't close though. Sure, Jonas powers through Joker for a loop, but Joker and his persona were millions of times faster and mm. could take on universe busters. And there was what? no doubt Joker could see Jorno stand, considering he could spot wow. similar beings like Shadow. Add in the versatility of Joker's hundreds of personas, and Jorno could get quickly Ooh. overwhelmed. But that's where Requiem came in, and the game changed. With its ability to nullify any action that's taken against it, even ones that can affect entire universes, Joker's regular arsenal was rendered moot. Remember that's why I was saying to myself, I'm like, I feel like he had no chance. Remember, Requiem could act independently of time, so Joker wouldn't be able to avoid Requiem's ability. Wow. He'd have to beat it outright. Take when the Phantom Thieves face Maruki. The group couldn't resist the reality warping effects of his powers. He even had an ability that nullified actions against him, similar to Gold Experience Requiem. But Joker still had an ace up his sleeve. While Requiem can reduce your willpower to zero, Joker's social links were able to recharge him. And finally, we have Joker's almighty attacks, mm. which could bypass reality warping defenses like the Omnipotent Orb the perfect counter for Requiem. And this is actually what? backed up in JoJo. While Requiem only has one appearance That's in the manga, weird. it did show up in the game Eyes of Heaven. There, it faced off against the world over heaven, which can overwrite reality to overpower any attack, what? including Requiem's return to zero. That meant an oh. almighty attack that can bypass reality warping would have the same effect, Shh. giving Joker the option he needed to wow. land the against Requiem's perfect defense. Dio is such a dick, he literally ruined his own son's death battle. Jorna was uh -huh. brilliant, but Joker had the versatility, experience, and almighty power for the final blow. That's funny. Jorno missed his golden opportunity and had a shell of a time. <laughs> hey, Wiz, you hear what I said? I said, Jorno missed his golden opportunity and he had a shell of a time. The winner is Joker. We got it. Next Boom time sick. on Death Battle. Oh, uh, a, a remake? Oh, oh. Subscribe and join as a member okay. to see more Death Battle. All right, Thanks. that was my work. I totally forgot about the Dio versus Alucard battle. Uh -huh. I'm still pissed at that Dio versus Alucard fight and how he killed uh, Alucard. And I was like, why? Why do you have to have an unlikable bastard win against Alucard? Why? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that was some good shit, actually. I, I loved it. Um, yeah, I want to... I, 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 I'm glad we're having another... We, we haven't had a big army battle in, like, the longest time ever since uh, Eggman versus Wily. Now we're having Eggman versus Bowser. Oh, that's going to be great. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's, we're finally having some Sonic uh, into this death battle again, but uh, I guess we'll have to wait to see uh, what what what'll happen next week. Because I mean, no, not next week. In a couple of weeks, and I wonder how they're actually going to do the death battle. Like, are they going to interpret each vehicle again, or or what, or each robot again? I, I, I want to see what happens. And why can't it be a, a free for all? Why can't you have a free for all? Why can't you have Wily, uh, Doctor Eggman, and uh, Bowser. I mean, and also, I'm sorry. Uh, why, uh, Eggman won. If he brought if he brought Metal Sonic into the whole thing, Eggman won. Sorry, Bowser cannot encounter that unless he has the Mega Star. I, I don't know. Has like some Mega Star thing? Maybe they can eat a plant. I don't. I I, I might be missing some Mario lore, but uh, it, it's just another Sonic versus Mario thing. So, uh, hey, what are you gonna do, right? <laughs> But anyway, please smash that like button if you want to see more sexy and nerdy content and subscribe if you think I deserve it. And remember, sign up for my Patreon to check out all my latest reactions to all my latest videos. And I'll see you on the next episode.